Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, hello, welcome to the channel. This is going to be their confessions for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I am Marv. This is readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Let's get started. Everything you need, Leo, is um, in the description box for you and your collective. Um, everything is always pent in the description box and the pertinent parts of What's in the description box is in the pent comments. You never have to worry about where everything is. If you're interested in a reading with me, any time with me, that information is always there. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Right now I am shuffling the deck. We are going to go ahead and get into where you are internally. Um, Jim and I just had a reverse reading, so I hope that's not the case with you. Let's see. This is for Leo. What do we got for Leo? What do we... Wow. All right. Pop that right on off the floor. Onto the floor. And it is face down. It is face down. And I'm sorry, it takes so long to pick anything up. All right. Uh-oh. Expressing regret isn't the same thing as apologizing. Well, somebody truly did screw up. Where you're at with this is you feel like there is someone in your life that may call you up, tell you how that much they miss you, and how they regret all of the things that happened. But you're looking for a specific verbiage. You don't want to hear regret. You're a Leo. Shit, you want to hear that their life is over. <laughs> you want to hear, damn it, that they are destitute living in the damn Las Vegas tunnels. You want these people to suffer. Because you don't really feel like it's an apology unless it's over the top. And if it doesn't have all of the dramatic aspects that you resonate with. It ain't real to you. And I can't be mad at you for your uh, babies because I am a little bit similar where I feel like if you don't make yourself uncomfortable for me. <laughs> and I know that this, that this sounds bad, but you're fixed fire and I have a lot of fixed earth in my chart. I emote like an earth sign. So I get it. We do realize and we must come to grips and realize that no one is entitled to go out of their way to do anything and that we must take what they say for face value because ultimately we all have the choice to deal with who we need to deal with or not. It's just as simple as that. So, but I know you're dealing with an individual. Someone calls you and expresses in your ear, constantly expressing you know, that they regret how you guys, what they did and, you know, and, but you feel like all you hear is want, 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 because deep down inside, no matter if you say you, you know, no, no matter whether you accept their apology or not, you don't think it's real. And that's a problem. That's actually a problem for a lot of fixed signs. Cause I have apologized to an individual, um, but this fool is a Scorpio, so he don't believe nothing, but I'm just saying, like, we're not talking about Scorpios, but we are, they are fixed water. So this is just to say that, you know, most fixed people, myself included in some placements that I have in my chart, we don't like individuals that don't apologize. <laughs> um, but it's a little bit different with each one of those, but you get it. So that's where you are. Somebody's in your, in your ear. Telling you how sorry they is and you like, mm -hmm, tell it to the judge. What are they confessing for Leo? What is their confession to Leo? Now, Leo, we're going to go ahead. Oh, shit. Great. See? False portrayal. God. Spirit, if you don't come through here tonight, if you don't come and speak through me tonight, false portrayal. Didn't I just, God damn it, say, mm, let me stop cursing. Let me stop cursing. Lord. All right. So this person is wicked. 
Now, Leo, I know that you have struggled with this. And, and before we get into this, because I got so much to unpack, let me just say that all of these readings are read from the perspective of the individual who you were curious about when you seen the video pop up. I can't control that. You don't have to be with this person. You don't have to be in a relationship with this person to hear what the hell they're confessing. Others of you are in a relationship with the person. The confession may be good. Shit, they may be trying to marry you or something, but that ain't what we talking about. So remember, oh, I really sounded like I'm from where I'm from when I said that. So let's just, this is their confession. This is your introspection energy that you're going through. When they match, like a lot of the times they be doing, then I know you on the right path. If their confession is, they ain't confessing this, this is what their energy is pulling down. That they're mischievous, naughty, and harmful, dangerous, they false portray, lie, cheat, and you need to beware. Then you already know that when this person is calling you, expressing this regret, and see, this is the reason why before I get any cards out, I spend some time with that. If this isn't, the most direct display of an intuitive reader. I don't know what is. You guys need to pay attention to the Zaza Zoo and the Who Got Skills. Okay. <laughs> because if these two cards don't go together, my name ain't Marm. And a lot of the time they do. My channel is turning into more of a predictive thing. A lot of these readings don't even may not even resonate right now. Watch it in six months. Do you know how many people come to me and say that? Let me stop. I'm, I'm going to have to do do my soapbox for a minute, Leo. How many individuals come to me and talk about that? Marv, I just watched this video from 2020. I've been kicking knowledge for a long time and I'm humble as I can be. Okay, let's move on. So soapbox ran over. You knew damn well that this person was um, wicked. You knew it. And now they're expressing this regret and you just like, wah, wah, wah. just like I said, you just like, okay. I know damn well you don't believe it, that, that, that you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. Well, let's find out what else they got going on. Okay. Let's see. Show me, spirit. Why is wicked here? What are they lying about? Mischievous about? All right. So this person does not have any morals. I can tell you that. This is an individual who definitely struggles with doing what's right. They struggle. Uh-huh. Always got folks around. Friends. This, oh, my goodness. What am I getting? This is the type of individual, too, who will have a whole bunch of damn friends and swell up and down that they just friends, but they be more. Mm -hmm. let's, let's keep going. Oh, thank you. Yep, that's that tower. It came crashing down in the heart. You're not with this person no more. But they've been coming back. I'm sorry, Leo, for making their presence known in some way. It's like, dude, or chick, or whatever. Here we go with the two cards. Here we go. It's like, why? They want to dangle this what life we could have had in your face. I can't pick these cards up to save both our lives, okay, Leo? They dangle what you could have had in your face, but they never showed you what it was. Stop letting these folks sell you a dream. Start looking at tangibles. I hate to, I hate to tell you how to think like a Capricorn, but I'm going to tell you something. If they dangling this promise in your face, but they've already shown you this tower, don't you do it. I've argued with many a Leo. Do you hear me? Flat foot argue. Flat foot argue. So you just don't have no hope. No, 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 no. No, it's not hope. That's not what this is. Is that when somebody show me who they are, I believe it. And so should you. Let's keep moving. So, so should you. It's just period. All right. You got two cards. Look at this. See? Five of swords and the damn wheel of fortune. 
All right, let's unpack. So like I was saying, wait, let me give you this really quick. <clears throat> you reluctantly put up boundaries. Reluctantly. You reluctantly did it, but you had to because you just couldn't take it anymore. You couldn't take you couldn't take the bullshit, the lies. You could no longer do it. Let's talk about what they did. They carried themselves like a single man, single woman. And when you carry yourself like a nine of wands, I'm sorry, a nine of pentacles. When you carry yourself in a mentality where you're by yourself, then you don't, you tend to be naughty. This person is a little dangerous too. They could have done some shit that damn near killed both of y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't believe it. Or it almost killed you. You was going to kill them. <laughs> One of the two, Leo, okay? There's nothing wrong with carrying yourself like this. Beautiful energy, but not when you give up the eyes for an us. It's not about you, it's about us. They knew how to withdraw their, withdraw their energy and act single when they felt like it, Leo. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? All right. Not a morally sound individual. I know the traditional meaning of this, but this person is not morally sound. I feel like this individual... A lot of things are behind the veil, okay? A lot of things, they don't use their intuition. They don't believe in what's going on on the inside of them. They're all about flying by the seats of their pants. And let me also say that that individual does not even, they, let, they, they may not connect deeply with their feelings. Does that make sense? Like they're not there. And I also am feeling like, and I know there's not a lot of energy out here, but just also when I'm getting off this high priestess too is that this person may have some substance issues as well. Okay. Okay. So in the energy of wicked, we already know what this means. They lying. They, they you know, they passing off friends as lovers. Oh, that's my friend. Well, hell, who, who in the hell is this person? You always got to go and leave and help some damn body. <laughs> Why? I got to go and help my friend. You know, move a couch. You ain't got no damn friends. I'm sorry, Leo. I didn't got a little ghetto in your read, and I apologize. I'm not. I'm not ghetto. I just. I'm feeling this energy, and I'm. I'm. I'm acting it out, and it's pissing me off for you. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Obviously, this is obvious that they've had third parties. They. They. They carry themselves like that single person. So obviously, any one of these friends that they. They. They, they hold their friends very high. Leo, you do as well, but when you're, but this person, you could, you could be the same zodiac sign as this individual, but it just feels different. It just feels a little bit different. Hard play shows the tower. It came crashing down. And one of the things that this card brings in addition to the, you know, the, the meaning that we all know, especially if you serial watch tarot readings, is that this, this brings shocking revelation shocking revelations with this card and when we're talking about wicked you found out some shit you was like oh really there's a secret there's a secret there's some stuff that's going on there is a secret that you found out or a secret let me tell you what you do for those you love that you you don't you're not overly you, you don't judge like you just be wanting to know you nosy as hell leo i said it but it, when you when you rock with a person, like real talk, FR, FR, like for real, for real, you will hold that secret as long as they, they, they don't do you in. And I feel like they did. Okay. We also have this Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, this person was slow and they dangled. You know, I love to say that when, you know, one of the things that you do when you learn to row is you have to resonate and sit with that card and you have to, you have to, you associate that card with what it makes you feel like. And I've done that, of course, because I've been doing this for a minute. And every time I see this card, no matter what the situation is, this is an individual who 
is like a step away from the energy of that nine pentacles and a very selfish knight that will constantly take his time slow and steady wins the race but when i say dangle the commitment what i find in this card and a lot of readings is that it's like you're not good enough because that's what's making you feel like well i wasn't good enough to be this and i wasn't good enough to do that because i'm gonna take my time and i'm i'm being cautious so you can go out and screw all your friends and be wicked and do all of this but when it come down to you doing me right and giving me the pinnacle, you got to be cautious. Okay, we're done. And no, I'm not a Leo. <laughs> I just, I'm mad for you guys. Obviously, this lets me know another thing in supporting that nine pinnacles, um, that, that single lady, single man energy. I'm acting in my own accord. This card also is lies, tricks, cheats, deceits, and sometimes even crimes. Hello. So there is some ish that this person is doing, all right? And they are not right about it. Um, and this right here means that there was an opportunity for this to change. And when this changed, it gave you what you needed to get. It gave you the energy that you needed. Destiny came in. And then if we go one more down to be like real, real talk right here, you see seven swords. And this definitely illustrates this. And this is at the top of the deck. So you may not have wanted to accept what this person was, but destiny stepped in in your favor. And although you may not be with that person anymore, and although this person may call you and express regret, and although you may love this person and still want to get with them, Leo, I'm telling you that you're better off without this individual. Destiny came in. Something happened that took this individual away from you. And that is exactly where the hell they needed to be away from you. And now you're not letting the last tricks, cheats and deceits come in anymore. That's the reason why internally you are like, yeah, OK, you can express regret all you want. But that ain't the same thing. When I split that deck, I saw the engagement. Some of you guys were engaged. I'm telling you right now, I saw it. I saw it. We're going in with our clarifiers. What do we have for high priestess? Thank you. Mm -hmm. This person has been in your energy. You don't know why. Some of them could have been spying on you, trying to see what you're doing, following you on social media. God damn. I'm a curse tonight, spirit. If you don't stop, what did I say? What did I say about shocking revelations? And look, sudden change, shocking news, surprise epiphany and transformation. Y'all better get in on y'all get get in line and get on board. Do you hear me? Get, I'm trying to tell you. Yep, they're reminiscing. They've been in your energy. Yep, always two. All right, always two. Top of the deck is love. So I'm going to tell you right now, do not feel like this was to you. I get, I feel like this is what you gave. I'm just going to tell you, don't, don't shoot the messenger. That's what they was doing. What did I say? I can't make it up tonight. See what they did in the past, which contributed to the fact that you had to walk away, having fun, happily single, living in the moment, time with friends, but they wasn't single. Let me stop yelling. I'm sorry. They wasn't single, but they acted like it. All right. So this person has definitely been in your, in, in your energy, um, lately. All right. Um, and again, in the energy of this, uh, high priestess, they trying to low key, make it seem like they not on your ass interested, awaiting messages, text calls, emails, talking more. So don't be surprised. This person has been in your energy too. Um, you guys share some of the same friends and now they're going to be watching, looking perception. Their perception now is that you doing you possibly they're stalking. I feel like this is more social media. Please uh, heed the word. I don't normally uh, tap into violence. I feel it. I'll let you know. I do not feel that this is a physical stalking and I wouldn't bring that energy to my channel anyway, but I'm telling you also to be, mindful of that okay and i feel like they're going through your friends 
They're going through people that you know, Leo, to ask questions about you. And that's how they stalking you. So th that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So it was a sudden change. What went on between you guys, it happened quick. There was something shocking that took this person away from you. And it does not, and, and I'm going to tell you, it, 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 it happened already. I feel like this is the past. Doesn't necessarily have to be present in these, in these readings. Sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany, or transformation. And that is exactly what happened. And I feel like, you know, with them dangling this in your face, looking at pictures missing you, yeah, they want to make new memories, of course. They're back in your energy now. That's the reason why they telling you what they regretted. I don't think you want the apology. I was talking to a Leo, and when I say she a Leo, straight up and down the side to side, baby. She told me, well, Marv, I want his life to be over. <laughs> I said, well, damn. I want, I want the MF to suffer. I want that we go. There is our five of swords and there is our snake. And yes, this definitely confirms competition in the enemy, the other woman or the other man. Look over your shoulder. There was something that you could not, that you could not let go of here. Do you see what I'm saying? You could not let it go. You couldn't let it go. You felt it. You knew that there was always something. Now I'm going to tell you, destiny came in for some of you guys, which puts you, which enabled you to put up stronger boundaries when destiny came in. And the will turn for others of you. Destiny did take place. OK. And what this person is realizing is, is that you were the person that they were supposed to be with. So if they're now in your energy, they're looking at pictures, they're stalking you, all of this shit, all of this that's going to come back from the past. The past is now coming back. Now they're realizing that you were the one. And. You have to reconcile this, you know, soul connection, partnership, soul contract or life partner. That's what that will of fortune is talking about. All right. Let's clear this deck and only reveal our majors. And you have three. The major arcana portion of this reading is just to illustrate what remains outside of all of the rest of the rhetoric. And if nothing else, something that's going to come to light, something definitely came crashing down. But also after that crash, the sun shines again. And this is the ultimate message here. It could be for them. It could be for you. It doesn't matter. This is what remains. And this change will take place. Let's go into our five additional clarifiers. OK. Look at that. I check on you from afar. Well, I just showed you that. I can see myself with you for the long term. I don't know what I want. Well, we know that, right? Thank you, spirit. You deserve better than me. And I love you. Well, God, doggy. Let's go back. So for some of you, that apology may not have meant shit. <laughs> but this person is coming and saying that they love you. You can definitely be loving on them. But they're 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 coming through and saying this. Um, do I believe it? I don't know. We cannot forget and negate that this person is a lying cheat. <laughs> Are people capable of change? I am not about to start that debate because my um my um interpretation of it is not popular. But I will say. Some of you are possibly going to reconcile, but destiny is taking you guys down different paths. And that's what this is. So you may accept the apology. You may have the conversation that they're waiting to have. But ultimately, I believe that all of this made you stronger. And now you're going to tell them destiny is taking us down different paths. What we had was special, but now I believe that. Thank you for expressing your regret. You can say it's not the same as apologizing. They may apologize, but ultimately fate stepped in. 
okay? Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. They're going to tell you that they love you. They're going to tell you that you guys can start over. And that may be true. I mean, anything is possible. It's up to you. What do you want to do? All right? Everything you need is below in the, in the description box below, Leo. It is always a pleasure. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.